Hello and welcome to the latest instalment of the On Device Research Academy series. Today I'm joined by Alastair Hill, CEO and co-founder of On Device Research, and he's here to explain more detail around our latest report, the state of digital brand effectiveness. So Alistair, within the new report that's being released, there's a whole section on social purpose advertising. Can you give us a bit more intel behind that? So we've seen a significant rise in the number of campaigns which have a message which is about social purpose. There's been an awful lot written about this and talked about, um, particularly from some of the biggest ad thinkers in the world with very diverging views uh, on the topic. Uh, so this um, section of the report really aims to dispel the myths and really give some insight into the brand effectiveness of campaigns which have this sort of message. Okay, so are there any reasons as to, to why that's happening? So at On Device Research we measure um, the brand funnel. So we measure um, through from awareness through down to purchase intention with also some metrics around creative diagnostics. And so what we're actually seeing um, from uh, these social purpose campaigns is they're actually pretty good at um, delivering upper funnel metrics. So these are things such as awareness and ad recall. We see the average um, social purpose campaign showing an increase in ad recall um, uh, of five percentage points, um, whereas our normal benchmark is four percentage points. So actually really having a good effect um, at uh, those upper funnel metrics. And this is being driven by some of the creative diagnostic messages. Uh, and so um, one of the metrics that we look at there is message takeaway. And uh, we're seeing really good and um, uh, strong results for that, uh, as well as um, things such as positive sentiment um, to, towards um, uh, that ad creative. What we don't see, however, from these social purpose campaigns is we don't see really much effect at the lower funnel metrics. So we're not seeing too much uplift in things such as consideration and purchase intention, which are obviously very important for um, a, a number of brands. But what are the results actually showing? Yeah, so what we've done is we've looked at these campaigns and we split them in two different ways. Um, we have looked into those campaigns which we're calling social purpose first campaigns. So ads and campaigns which are genuinely trying to do something good. And so we've taken that group and then we've also taken another group which um, are actually uh, have a social purpose message but are really trying to sell shampoo or chocolate. Uh, for, for example. And what we've actually seen when we've done this is those um, social purpose first campaigns really do have um, uh, good movements in terms of consideration and, uh, uh, and purchase intention versus those in the other um, uh, group which really don't have uh, much, much movement at all in terms of those lower funnel metrics. Thank you, Alistair. For more information on our State of Digital Brand Effectiveness Report, please visit our website at ondeviceresearch.com.